Hi everyone, my name is Lawrence Mann, freelance illustrator, concept artist and Corel master painter. Now, today I'm just going to take you through the Surface Pro 4 and I'm going to be drawing a quick little portrait here. I'm just randomly drawing a quick little sketch portrait. At the moment when I'm drawing it, I didn't know what it was going to be, what it was going to turn out to be. I'm just doodling away. It's one of my quick little fallback sketches for just when I'm doodling is I just start doodling a face. That's just how it goes. You know, um, sometimes I do this when I'm on the phone to a client, sometimes just when I'm happily sat watching TV. I'll just, you know, just start drawing faces and that's just what I do. It's what I've done for years and I consider the Surface Pro 4 to be a absolutely cracking, wonderful secondary device. And by that, I mean I wouldn't use it as my first computer, my only computer. It is brilliant and it can handle Photoshop as you're watching here. This is the i5 processor. This is the 256 8GB version for anybody who wants to ask because I do get asked all the time which version I have. Um, and you can see it's handling Photoshop absolutely fine. But, you know, for me, I have my Cintiq 27QHD Touch. I've got my MacBook Pro here. Um, yeah, I work at my desk. You know, I've got my whole studio set up just the way I like it. And while I love being able to draw anywhere and I love the whole surface range, you know, um, I have to say that the Surface Pro to me is a secondary device. Um, I couldn't do all my work on a screen that small. It's just that simple. Um, so... So yeah, um, while it's an absolutely cracking device, it's a secondary device. So for me, I, I think I, I tend to do a lot of random sketches. And if you've ever seen my portfolio, one thing you'll notice is that I love to do portraits. Um, I've got things like the vampire portrait. There was the Painter Essentials 5 cover that I did which was the Dare the Dead Girl. Um, I, I love that image. And then there's the um, there's also the zombie lady who looks very much like my mother. Um, <laughs> that portrait there. Um, I've also done portraits um, of a few people as well on, that you can see on my website. Um, and I like to do portraits that are very, very highly detailed as well. So one thing I do when I'm doodling is I, I always doodle faces. I, I just do. And I sit around a lot with my Surface Pro. And one thing you'll notice is, yeah, I doodle faces a lot. Randomly, um, yeah, I just do. So, and, and, I, and I, I don't know why. I just find faces more interesting than anything. I used to doodle a lot of random poses as well. I used to go and sit outside the library and the art gallery and I just used to very quickly doodle people walking past. And if people used to walk past in three or four seconds, that meant I only had three or four seconds to doodle them. So they used to be very little more than stick figures. But I got very, very quick at it. It meant I used to be able to draw hands and shoulders and chins and feet you know all in a matter of you know five ten seconds and it, it was good you know um i wish i had time to go and do that you know still i used to go and do that every day you know but obviously I don't have time to do things like that anymore but you know these days I still get time to sit down every now and again and draw something like this and the surface pro is absolutely cracking for that but as you can see, Photoshop works really, really well for drawing on the Surface Pro. Got to this point in the painting and I started, you know, the face looks really nice and 
there was that touch of emotion on it. You know, she looked a bit hesitant. And I liked that. And I thought, what more can I add to this? And I started adding the headdress. And even I was a bit concerned about the headdress. And I thought, hmm, not sure about this. And even though I, you I mean, you can see by layer palette there. And I, it's on a separate layer. So I thought, should I delete this layer? But, you know, you learn a lot when you're making mistakes. You know, that's how you, that's how you really learn when you're drawing something. So a lot of the time, a lot of the time I just think, no, you know what, I'll, I'll push on, I'll, I'll power through this. You know, Photoshop there, working with a massive brush. And uh, that handled fine as well, I'll just point out. Um, so I thought, yeah, I'll power through this. I'll make this headdress work. You know, even if it looks a bit cruddy right now. And, um, yeah. It took a while before, I think the headdress even started to convince me. There was a few points where I thought, nah, I should just delete this altogether. Yeah, took out that whole section there and started again. I like the girl's face plenty. And I think I could have taken that and done something a lot easier with it. I had a vision in my head. But I think I, I should have just either started the headdress all over again from scratch or just gotten rid of it and done something else. I had a few other ideas and maybe I should have done one of those. But I wanted to just power on through. I think I was having a stubborn day. And I think also when you're doing a f video thing like this, it's tougher. You know, when you're being recorded, it's like having the teacher at your school stood over you, <laughs> your shoulder. That's really weird to explain, but yeah, that's true. And also I was filming down from above, as you can see in the top right hand corner. Um, you can see my hair keeps peeking in. Uh, I'm really apologetic about this. Um, this, I think, was the first time I tried filming from above. So the angle isn't right and my hair was peeking in and um, yeah. yeah. So I was very mindful of that as well at the time, which annoyed me, but there you go. Um, but I'm not going to use that as an excuse. I just, yeah, the headdress wasn't working. Looking back now that I've had that time, I think what needed to happen is the whole headdress needed to be moved down so it was just above her eyebrows and that would have that would have helped it to work a lot more but this has turned out really nicely and stuff does look great somebody asked me if you can do finished work on it so i am doing a video on that at the moment where i'm going to do an almost finished piece and really show you how far you can get within a good couple of hours so hopefully that'll you know show that you can do something really nice cool I hope you enjoyed this video and I shall see you guys soon. Well, thanks for watching and be sure to comment, like and even subscribe to my channel, Lawrence Can Draw.